Alright, I got my floor swept. Now I'm going to apply this stuff. Let's see. The Ospo rust inhibitor. I'm going to apply it on here and let it, let it dry for 24 hours or more to uh, kill any, any rust that's growing. They want you to at least 24 hours for it to dry. If not longer, it depends on how much you put down. I'm going to do a light coat. It should turn the rust black uh, when it's done. So uh, we'll see. We'll be right back. Safety first. You definitely want to wear a mask because this stuff is an acid and it does have a fume to it. So you need some kind of filtration device to keep that stuff out of your lungs. <laughs> All the rust hopefully it'll turn black and I can paint this floor but yeah I'm gonna let it dry for a day or two now a lot of people use silicone to cover the holes or pennies JB will Bondo whatever I saw another youtuber use this stuff it's Gorilla glue or Gorilla tape it's the waterproof Passion seal tape. It's about four inches wide. Uh, I think there's 10, 10 feet of this. So you just cut it with scissors to fit the hole. And over time, it uh, seals the hole from water, air, anything like that. So I'm using tape. Basically, what you do, you see, it's kind of thick. It's not like regular tape. You just peel it off a little bit got a back to it so um, you can play with it a little bit before you cut it down so anyway actually no that's wrong there he is okay so you just cut a piece Piece is about yay big, you know, and you just cover a hole.
here's a uh, tip whenever you're using this tape that has the back to it. When you cut the piece off, make sure you start peeling the back off before you cut it into little sections. Because this is a little difficult to get off with without fingernails. So, yeah, let's do this. Understanding, uh, yeah, dedication. It's a lot of work. <laughs> this is, I bought this bus January 1st, 2021. Today is the 17th of April. And you can see what I've already done just by myself. It, it's a long process, especially if you work. Uh, but you know, just take your time, have patience, plan it out, don't rush into anything, take your time, make sure you do it right, uh, research, 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 the big one. I've watched several different videos on YouTube about schoolies and how they did their thing and I kind of took a little bit from each person. And, uh, yeah, it's just make it your own, you know. Um, some people say there's a right way and a wrong way to do something, but when it comes down to it, it's your bus, it's your livelihood, it's your, your house. So build it the way you want to. You want to have an open floor plan and have just a mattress in the back and a, and a little sink and a bucket for a bathroom? Do it. It's yours. No one has to come in here. You don't have to let anybody in here. It's your bus. Make it your own. So, yeah. That's my advice to anybody out there that's looking into doing a schoolie or any kind of conversion, van, bus, whatever. Make it your own. 
that's hot. Weather plays a lot here in Florida uh, as far as doing kind of work on, on your bus and stuff like that. Um, yeah. They say if you want the weather to change in Florida, just wait five minutes. It'll change. It'll either get hot or colder. Right, I'm back. The next day, uh, my battery died on the camera, so I had to uh, let it charge up and come back the next day. But uh, I'm getting ready to finish the floor. As you can see, I got most of it taped up. I got a couple few holes here, and then uh, we'll be able to paint it. So stay tuned. All the holes are taped up and uh, ready to go. I'm using the stuff right here, this is uh, Rust-Oleum Professional. It's uh, high performance protective enamel. It's oil based. Uh, I have this. I got the smoke gray because I like that color. Even though you're not going to see it, I just got this color. I don't know why. There's all different colors: yellow, red, blue, black, white, whatever you want to get. Get. I like this color, so yeah, I got this. This is big enough to paint my floor once and maybe twice if I want to. Um, I'm going to see how it looks after uh, one coat. So, wish me luck. I'm done with most of it. The base coat is down. I'm gonna go back when it dries with a brush and go around the edges. You know, as you can see, I got it pretty much covered up. Everything for the most part. Just uh, yeah, just gotta touch up a little bit. And then put it in the floor. Yeah, looks good. What do you think? I like it. I might put another coat on there. I got enough for another coat if I need to. So, yeah, I probably put another coat on it just to be safe. So anyway, till next time. Remember, stay adventurous. Peace. <laughs>